Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting adventure. Uh, in this case, if uh, you're an Unreal user fan and you've been to my channel before, you're kind of knowing where we're going here. Uh, this is finally the long-awaited, long-requested, uh, much uh, forgotten about, about uh, on, my, on my side, uh, Planet Tutorial. We are... Uh, just gonna dive right in, so uh, let's go. Uh, first, the things that you need to follow along. Uh, go into uh, starter content, shapes, grab the shape sphere, drop it in. Um, to get these textures, slightly more complicated. Uh, probably the best place to go right now, because they're still free, is um, shaderrelief.com, you can get uh, some really high-res uh, images of the Earth, and uh, both uh, day, night, and you can get clouds, you can get some height data, and some uh, land water mass that you can use as spec, and uh, just about anything that you uh, uh, could possibly uh, need for a uh, large uh, Earth scene. Um, you notice here I also have normal maps, which are not included in the uh, textures, and you, I made them using the NVIDIA plugin inside of Photoshop, and uh, just grab the uh, the height data and the clouds, which I'm probably not going to use the normal map for that, uh, just because on the scale it's a little bit weird. Um, and then I also, in the starter content, um, decided to uh, use the Perlin uh, noise, which we'll get back to in a bit. Uh, just as a detail map for the clouds. So let's get our textures that we're going to need into the engine. And that should be all we need, right? Yep. Okay, let's uh, get this over here. Let's try to organize all this. Need that one. And base color, specular, normal. So you can kind of see uh, the normal map here. It's not the strongest normal map in the world. Uh, I was kind of going for realism. Um, if you needed to have it stronger, you go ahead and make it. So uh, when you create the normal map from the bump height, uh, so let's go ahead and set up our clouds. Um, blurp, we need a one minus. Constant, scalar constant. And we need that. Okay, so we have clouds over the earth. All is good, all is wonderful. Plug that in there, stop previewing. We have clouds over the earth. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Okay, tidy up here. Create our atmosphere. Let's grab a Fresnel. Shut off the base reflect fraction. Let's go ahead and drop that down. Goes in the alpha. Let's create some color swatches or color vectors or Three vector colors, constants, however you want to call it. Um, let's make it a little bit richer. Because you're not really going to see it that much. And this one, uh, you can make it white or just a really pale blue. It doesn't matter. And that's going to go into the A. This one's going to go into the B. And that is going to be lerps. By 
that. Being that into that should work. And we need a one minus. So just grab control if you want to grab both of those and then plug that back in there. There we go. Now, uh, talked about that, uh, that noise texture here. So let's just go content, noise, Perlin. Let me say Purnell. That's an author. Um, and instead of having this constant value here, just uh, plug that in. Uh, I, I know I didn't mention it. I am using 410 in this, uh, but it's not necessary. You, this uh, should work in every version of Unreal. All right, so uh, I was just to give some uh, additional breakup to our clouds. Um, so let's go and do a texture coordinate. And let's just tile that five by five. And looks a little bit better. Uh, just gives uh, some added little scalar uh, detail. Um, okay, so you could call it a day there and just rotate your planet and in the, in the, uh, in the level and you'd be good, right? Okay, well, say for example, you didn't want to rotate your planet for whatever reason. You just wanted it to rotate. So uh, you want to rotate in the material. So let's just go ahead and... Uh, I don't know why I can select all that. Grab a panner node, and let's just plug this into here, this into here into here and for the sake of the argument let's go ahead and do that uh, we're going to need to copy this one paste it there oops and since this is a multiple multiple of five we'll just uh what was it point zero zero one i think was good uh, negative 0 0.001. Uh, maybe just make it negative 0 0.01. Is that enough? It's a little much, but, you know, for the sake of simplicity, let's go with that. Um, and so this one is going to be a multiple of that, so minus 0 0.05. Uh, did I do that correct? Put in the wrong input. There we go. Looks like our seam from our normal map showing up there, so let's just move away from there. Um, Alright. So, uh, Let's say you want the clouds to go at a different rate. So let's do that. Do copy paste and put a five at the end and plug it into there. Sorry for bumping my mic. Um, now you see we have that problem again. So let's do the math. Uh, it should be. 0 0.075, I think, is the correct math. Indeed it is. Okay, so we have that. All right, so what if we wanted to go a step further, you know? Uh, maybe we wanted to have um, some parallax between our cloud layer and the ground layer and the atmosphere. So let's go ahead and add a bump offset. So these guys are good. Go one. Uh, just plug the height in there. Pop into there. 
And as you can see, we already have uh, some parallax going on, and all is good, all is wonderful with that. Uh, maybe we want to have our clouds be offset, but not as much. So let's uh, make that a 0.5. Plug that into there. And because of the texture coordinate on that, we need to make another copy of that. Plug you into there. And you into there. So that looks much better, right? So now we have a little bit of uh, parallax um, so that if the uh, uh, camera is moving relative to the uh, planet, you get a little bit of additional 3D effect in that. Um, maybe give yourself a little bit more atmosphere, maybe a little bit too much atmosphere. So. Uh, So uh, that is uh, pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, uh, you can take this kind of thing as far as you want it. If you want to add, um, you know, the uh, nighttime side lights, uh, there's obviously a texture to that. You plug that into the emissive, but of course that's going to show up on the daytime side as well, which is not desirable. Um, and so I haven't really sat and thought about it all that much. Uh, so I would have to do a little bit of research on that just to uh, make sure I'm doing things correctly to show that kind of thing. So that will probably show up at a later date. I wanted to thank everyone for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, please hit the like button. If you uh, really like everything I'm doing with the channel, please hit the subscribe button and you'll get uh, notifications anytime that I upload a new video. And uh, hopefully here in a few minutes, I'll be starting my Fallout 4 first impressions video and uh, be able to actually sit down and really play the game in earnest for the first time this weekend, which I'm really excited to do. And of course, I'll be recording these playthroughs and doing commentary as I get to do it. Um, I don't get to do it much during the week because I have a full time job and I didn't get to it, uh, the Fallout video earlier this week because... Uh, uh, freelance gig showed up and I was working eight hours at my normal job and eight hours uh, on the freelance gig uh, most of this week. So uh, uh, minimum 18 hour days because, you know, <laughs> you always have that time down. You always put in the full eight hours. So like lunch breaks and whatever, add two hours. Um, so yeah, uh, this video almost didn't happen. So uh I want to uh, doubly thank everyone for watching, and the Fallout thing almost didn't happen, or well, almost uh, um, didn't happen because uh, I was afraid I'd have to work this weekend, but so far, no one's called. So, uh, again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next video. Again, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, that will help me out a lot. So, uh, without further ado, goodbye, and uh, see you next time.